graffiti is definitely a, a difficult medium because you only have that that five minutes, that 20 minutes, that 30 seconds to execute your piece. And when you're done, you're done. And that's it. standing there or there's a drug dealer and California graffiti is a felony it's such an extreme punishment at such a low level of graffiti that it's almost like you're screwed after you do one piece so you might as well do a thousand pieces because if you get charged for a thousand felonies it's not going to be much worse than getting charged for a hundred felonies there's just no punishment or ultimate extreme punishment. So it's uh, a constant paranoia that the police are gonna show up and arrest me, but it's not something that I live in fear of at this point. It's something that I accept as, as part of what I'm doing. The local government tracks the pieces in graffiti, they go and they photograph on a regular basis to build a file on you. When you're caught, they look up that file and try to charge you for everything in that file. Someday I would like to see the folder of my graffiti that they've documented in my case because I believe it would be thousands of pages. I chose to use the human face because it's the most recognizable symbol. It's the first thing we see when we enter this world. The longer I painted, the more the mask evolved. The teeth grew longer and longer like a living entity, and eventually became a beard of knowledge that dug into its environment and wrapped and adapted, the same way our strategies must adapt to keep movements alive. For this piece, I wrote Gats Down the Nose, Graffiti Against the System. The bags under the eyes represent our vigilance that we never rest, that we witness all of the injustice and will never forget. The ornate decorations that fill the nose are actually the names of people I respect, people whom I paint the mask for. The empty tear is in remembrance of our friends and loved ones whose lives have been stolen by the police. I associate masks with freedom of speech, and so I will never take mine off. <laughs> 